all, and welcome to another Captain Air Entertainment video. It's Art here with Book Review Bonanza Week Day 2, The Hangman's Daughter by Oliver. I'm not going to say his last name. It's on the cover over here that will appear over my shoulder around about now. Uh, what did I think about this historical period piece mystery series? Um, which, fair warning, it is a period piece. Things are said, things are done that are set in the old English 14 to 1500s, um, actually 1800s, um, 18th century, 1700s, sorry about that. Uh, because the book does give you a, each chapter gives you a date and a time of where you are. It is very linear in that respect, which I'm thankful for, and it made the timeline and the sequence of, uh, of events easy to keep, keep a con considered control of in your mind. Also, the author does an amazing job of painting a vibrant picture of the world at that time and a picture that comes alive in the sense of it's a a great read a white knuckle thrill ride read for me because I thoroughly enjoyed it and cannot wait to continue on in the series however there was a few um, minor drawbacks for me it was hard to keep some of the characters separate because uh, some of the characters had the same first names and close sounding last names that it took me a few minutes every time each character was introduced to realize who we were dealing with at the time. Now, Quiesel, your hangman, and Magdalena, your hangman's daughter, the titular character, titular character of the book, they, over time, will become more and more clear to where you can remember them, and so will Zeman, the doctor, and, um, his father, and, um, other people in the series. But at first, there is a level of familiar, familiarity you must get with the characters to understand who is who and who's on screen. You might even want to do like a whiteboard or like a take notes so that you can keep them separate. Like that's what I started doing to be able to learn them much easier. But the book is very true to the period. It is very true to what would have happened. Um, there's no MacGuffin, which I like to see because fiction tends to take a MacGuffin sort of sort of stance to paint itself into a can't get out of corner and then become a MacGuffin and the author does not do that here notice how I'm not saying his name uh, the author does not do that here because he very much keeps it historically grounded and historically accurate it is it's a very intense book it is a very graphic book um, he, he describes things down to the minute detail so that you can get a vivid picture in your mind of what's going on and what's happening in the uh, in the story I recommend uh, I have it on both Kindle and on uh, and an Audible, because I got it free with Audible once I bought it on Kindle. Some of the books do that, and this one did do that. Um, so, if you get it on Kindle, I recommend uh, also picking up the audiobook if it's still free, obviously, because like it'll it allowed me to continue listening to the book while I was uh, working around my room on the bus because I can't read while vehicles in motion and or playing video games so it made it a uh, very much enjoyable and the author makes you want to find time to finish the book 
Like he makes you these characters live in your brain if you like it as much as I did and they definitely lived in my brain for the entire time that I listened and read the book. It is a it is not for the faint at heart. I gotta be honest about that. It is not for the faint at heart. It is not for the weak um, and, and the queasy that don't like very descriptive, disgusting descriptions at times. Um, if you don't like disgusting descriptions, don't read it, don't listen to it. But for me, it was a nice change of pace. It was a new kind of mystery thriller that expanded the genre for me and I cannot wait to continue on with the series definitely going to add that into my February monthly reading roadmap um, for me it's a read it own it love it I fell in love with this book as soon as um, from chapter one I fell in love with it again once I got the character straightened out it was truly 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 um, epic once I could keep all the characters straight and the timeline was easy like I said because the chapter headings were there. So for me it's a read it, own it, love it on my scale. On the Goodreads scale it's a five star full recommendation if you know historical fiction, historical mystery thriller fiction is for you. It's an intense read. It's It'll grab hold of you and won't let go if you let it. It's an amazing, amazing read. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read The Hangman's Daughter or any of the subsequent books in the series and let me know what you think about it. Um, as you know, tomorrow will be the review of Blue Moon by Lee Child, the latest and greatest uh, Jack Reacher novel to come out in 2019. I came out in October 2019 and we have new news about uh, the next Jack Reacher novel. So I'll share that with you um, on tomorrow's video. But this is where I say normally I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 in Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video if YouTube is working that day. But as you know, we're in the middle of book review bonanza and I don't know how long it's going to go. You will get fair warning when it ends, but because it's book review bonanza, I will see you tomorrow. So until then, my friends, happy reading. I'll see you tomorrow and peace.